Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to finally do another TJ Maxx video. So if you guys missed it, I actually filmed a very little snippet, like probably four minutes of footage in a previous Shop With Me vlog that I uploaded, I think last week. And I had found a bunch of the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection. I was so excited about it and I wanted to make sure I got that up ASAP for you guys so you guys could be on the hunt since some of the TJ Maxx finds can be very time sensitive and a lot of you guys were able to find the stuff so you guys got a little sneak peek there with some of those finds but I found even more stuff this week but it hasn't been super crazy I feel like it's been a little bit on the slower side but I actually ended up buying quite a bit of stuff that I found like I found just a general variety from candles to shoes and some good perfume so there was still some really good finds this week so we're going to be going over all what's new at the stores this week with TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So let's go ahead and get into it. So you guys got a little sneak peek of what is new at TJ Maxx if you watched one of my last Shop With Me vlogs. So I'll probably include that stuff here too, just for the people who didn't see that one. But let's go over some even more new stuff that's out today. Now, how exciting. We have just been seeing so much more from Benefit lately. Which is crazy because they used to not have very much stuff here. And I know these tints are pretty popular from them. You can use them on the cheeks, on the lips. They're like a liquid blush. This is for $9.99. Looks like they have quite a few of them. Also, this is a fun find from Too Faced. Their Hangover Good To Go Moisturizer. I don't think we've seen their skincare here yet at TJ Maxx. I know we've seen it at the cosmetic store. So really cool. Looks like we do have a lot of Too Faced showing up. This is $24.99. I have tried that one and I actually thought it was a good one. Just be careful with the SPF in here because SPF expires really fast. Even though the moisturizer might still be fine. And also we have the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer being restocked. I know we saw these here not too long ago, but it looks like they're all the Milk Chocolate shade. I don't know if they're getting rid of this one or what, but this is $16.99. I know they did come out with new ones in pink packaging, so maybe this one's being discontinued perhaps. I do like the new ones. Okay, so always check behind everything when you're searching because you might miss stuff. I almost missed this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. I remember this was pretty popular for a bit. It's supposed to keep your makeup on all day. I um, heard it's pretty nice. Personally, didn't try it, but I thought a lot of people with oily skin enjoyed this one. And it's such a good price too, $7.99. Definitely one to pick up, I would say, if you find that. That's just too good of a deal. We saw the NARS Laguna Bronzer over at Marshalls, and now it's hitting TJ Maxx as well. My TJ Maxx always gets more stuff than Marshalls and then occasionally Marshalls will have a couple of things early But I just always find better stuff here and then lots of the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner This is actually a really good one, too. I thought it was easy to use. This is $12.99 So looks like lots of Too Faced today. Lots of Pat McGrath still I'm still trying to see if we find any more stuff from their holiday line out. Okay, I feel like these Smashbox trios are kind of old school. Like, I feel like we've seen them here years ago, but I don't even know if they make these anymore. <laughs> these little ones, they look like a little camera lens. It's the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio in Nudie Pig Light. This is $9.99. I feel like these Smashbox palettes are kind of a throwback too, a little bit older. This is the Cover Shot Minimalist Palette, which I think is just very neutral. It looks almost like all mattes. This is $14.99. I think it's a little pricey because I just feel like they don't even make these anymore. But I'm just seeing a bunch of older Smashbox stuff here for some reason. So something interesting happened with my TJ Maxx video. And it actually got reposted by Trend Mood finding all the Pat McGrath stuff, which is insane. But now I feel like the stores are so empty because now I feel like maybe more people went to the stores and looked for stuff. But... That was just a crazy moment. I think she has a lot more views than mine does, which kind of sucks, but at least I did get a little bit of exposure with it. Anyways, I did find another piece from the Pat Holiday set. This is the Levin this is one of their eyeliners. This is the Legendary Wear Velvet in Extreme Black for $9.99. Here's some more good stuff. So we found the milk chocolate. Oh, this is just came out. Uh, I'm making a mess here. Okay. They have the dark chocolate soleil here the old version but this is the new version their natural chocolate healthy glow bronzer but they have the darker color I have the lighter one and it's such a pretty one this is in caramel cocoa but 
very shocking to find since it's just launched like not that long ago like maybe four or five months ago this is $16.99 okay I did find another shade in that newer Too Faced bronzer I don't remember if there's two shades or three shades if this is the lightest or the middle this is the golden cocoa I still can't believe that these are here they're so pretty too they have like pink packaging and everything this is for again $16.99 so they're actually stocking a bunch of them I was trying to sneak through and look at this box because there's like a bunch of them in there, but I was trying to see what else they have. They are stocking a ton of KVD liquid lipsticks too. In this shade, they had a bunch of Ludwig. It's a really pretty nude. I haven't used these in a long time, but I thought I would share that they are stocking a lot of them. They're $6.99 each. Also a good shade of bow and arrow. Those are my two most used colors. They're also restocking some Too Faced Hangover Primer. I never hear about this one anymore these days, but it used to be such a loved like moisturizing one. This is $19.99. I'm seeing more Briogeo stuff that they're putting out. This looks like a new set of their hair care minis, Smooth and Shine. It seems like all their stuff ends up here too these days. These look like little travel sizes, $9.99. They have a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in spray, and a heat protectant, so literally everything you need. Some more cute Revolution finds. They have the Mojo Jojo pack. Palette. This is $4.99. It's like a little highlight palette. So it has three different tones in there. These are more of the Love Island collection, which I found that pink one earlier. But they do have the full size one too. This is I've Got a Text. It actually is quite fun colors for $4.99. And then this collection just came out recently, so not too old, but there's just so much Revolution stuff again. This is from the School of Good and Evil. I did end up swatching these, and they swatched like pretty nice, like not too bad. This is, there's like a bad palette, there's a good palette. So this one has some more of the darker grungy tones. This is for $5.99. Here's another Beetlejuice little palette here. This is the I Myself Am Strange and Unusual. This is a little one for $4.99 the new brand in body care Isle of Paradise I think they still sell this on Sephora this is one of their body glows it's a self tan serum so I think it I guess it's supposed to be more hydrating self tan it's $14.99 I'm curious though if it actually does add color or if it's more of a prep I tried their invisible I think it was a spray and I do not like the invisible ones because you can't see what the heck you're doing because it doesn't have like a barrier color but I don't know it seems kind of interesting I mean it says it's a self tan serum so you would think it would have color but from the description it looks like it's mostly just a pre tan thing to get your skin really hydrated here's another Isle of Paradise find this is their self tanning butter which I feel like they had in a smaller packaging that was like blue a couple years back maybe it's the same thing so this is going for $14.99 this is just an easy thing you can apply just as a lotion and have a little bit of some color everything from first aid beauty always ends up here eventually i just found something from their hairline i remember when this came out i feel like this is the only thing they launched because i mean it kind of deals with scalp health which is part of your skin this is the anti-dandruff shampoo from them it's 11.99 here here's a cute kopari kit their hydration vacation duo you get the mini coconut melt the tropical version and the original originally 20 this is for 12.99 here and then another new kopari kit this is with their lip glossies there's three of them in here I always love these so this has the nude beach clear and then beachy peach for $14.99 looks like they have some new skincare sets as well some glam glow here this has just a mini of their best-selling masks and then their moisturizer originally 36 this is $14.99 lots of myriad stuff I feel like we go over them quite a bit this one I didn't see before their breakout clearing set which has their cleanser and acne spot treatment this one's 19 and then herbivore we don't see here too often so I thought this was a cool set too has their pink cloud cleanser I remember trying that one it was really nice their blue tansy mask which I believe is a mini in their pore purifying cream this one is 19.99 and then you guys know we always see biosan so I feel like I kind of don't get as excited when I find new sets from them because I feel like they have so much stuff here. Now I did see some new, isn't this the latest Dolce & Gabbana fragrance, Lily? I feel like that one just came out last year. I know it's probably limited so maybe they're coming out with a new one now but this is a one ounce of their Lily set for 39 
this one I see here a lot, Garden, for 39 as well. But I have to look into this because I might, I don't know, I might want to pick this one up if it is one of their newer scents. Spotted some little Ellis Brooklyn kits here. I remember seeing these at Ulta. These are really nice ones. So this has a bunch of their travel sprays in it. This is the fully booked set. You guys know I always talk about Sweet and B. Those are so good. And these are like nice sizes. So this is originally 48. Looks like it's here for 19.99. So honestly, a really good deal. You also get Myth, Salt, and West. So that's really exciting to see. I feel like that's definitely a really good buy if you find that one. And they have a bunch of them here. I was trying to see, are these roller balls or are they sprays? I'm guessing it might be a roller ball though. These look really fun too from Pacifica, the Moon Moods Roll-On Trio. There's the Flower Moon, the Dream, and the Silver. I love the Silver Moon. So these are pretty cute too just to take on the go. This is $7.99. And then here's a little mini Ellis Brooklyn kit. This one comes with Sweet and Myth together. Okay, this is $12.99. It says... Oh, maybe there's four in here because on the back it says Salt or Sweet. So confused if there's four in here or two because this has salt and myth and then myth and sweet so maybe you get myth salt and sweet for $12.99 on some cute little body sprays this one actually smells really good it's a sensuous praline it's actually quite sweet I know it has like a floral background this is by a scent which I haven't seen before it's $5.99 and then they also have this one which is the playful citrus and then I do like this company here I think this is the good scent company or something like that but they have a candy swirl mist which looks so fun it does smell pretty good too for $4.99 a couple more of these like super fun mists these all smell so good this one is sugar cookie I guess it's by so French is the brand and then I also found this cherry on top one I saw some of you guys finding some tree hut here and I spotted one product so far we'll see if we find anything else but they actually have one of their whipped body butters the shea body butter in eucalyptus blossom don't know if I've seen this scent before so maybe some of their discontinued ones are ending up here which is kind of fun this is $5.99 so it's not too bad, it's not super discounted, but if you're looking for some more discontinued scents, I mean, definitely check here. Okay, I found another Nest candle, which this one's probably my favorite scent so far that I've seen. The Vanilla Orchid and Almond. I still haven't bit the bullet on these yet though because you guys are mixed in the comments. You either loved them or you didn't think they were worth it. So I don't know, but this definitely is the best scent I've seen, again, for $19.99. I always love spotting the more expensive brands here in shoes. Dolce Vita has some cute sandals here for 34 and these are the similar style, but they have like this straw strap, which I think would be so cute for my cruise. These are really comfortable as well, really nice quality. Lots of Dolce Vita, it seems. These can get upwards of like 75 to 100 bucks. These are $29.99. Also this style with the wrap and the clear strap. Those are so adorable. They're cute Steve Madden shoe. Oh, these are darling. Now that I kind of want for my cruise. These are 29. These are my favorite like slides I love for spring and summer. I'm gonna have to get a new pair, but I literally live in these. They're so comfortable. They have them here for $19.99, but I actually kind of like these Crocs too. <laughs> Like the tie-dye, it's kind of cute. I don't know. Okay, Steve Madden has some super cute bags out right now for spring. They have some, this kind of reminds me of Kate Spade a bit. This style, a little bit more fancier for 24. I also think this one is really cute with the little buckle there. Love the color as well, and it has a little pouch at the bottom. This one's super cute too. I forgot what this style is called. The little cinch on the top. But look at like the logo here, that's so cute. I love this color too. This one is 29. I know these have a name, is it like a bucket bag? Is that what that is? This one might be my favorite style though because I love the braided top handle that it has. And then this color though, oh my gosh, so much fun. These are definitely gonna go really fast, I could tell. This one from Aldo is so fun too. It's like a larger crossbody, and then it has these hints of neon colors on the sides. This one is 29, and then it has this cute little studded keychain too. That's so fun. Is this like a thing, Kipling? I feel like I've heard that before, but it's cute. It's like this holographic bag. For a backpack, it's 39. It has a cute little monkey. 
keychain. What the heck? That's so cute. And then I found this like Steve Madden. It's like a belt bag, but it's big. This is 24. This is like a gym bag. That's kind of fun. It has like a water bottle slot and everything. All right, checking out Marshalls. I thought I would just do an overview of what they have. Lots of repeats, but lots of palettes here from Too Faced, Urban Decay. Looks like they're also getting the Pat McGrath stuff. They do have the highlighter. And then this was a new find. This like just came out. I found it at Walmart, I think last month. The NYX Wink Saga Collab Palette. I always like get so shocked when I find like brand new items here. This is for $6.99. Marshalls did have this, which was new from Benefit. I don't think I've seen this one yet. The Professional Pearl. I've seen a lot of Benefit here at Marshalls. A lot of race stocks right now, especially their blushes, the older ones. But this is going for $9.99. It's more of a radiance primer. How cute are these candles over at Marshalls? They look like little soda pops. They're from DW Home and I know they make a lot of fun designs, but how cute is that? This is the strawberry for $12.99. The cherry, this one smells really good. They also have orange cream and lemon splash. I thought those were too cute and not to share. I do go over candles here and there, but I haven't gone over this brand in a while because I know a lot of you guys say they aren't super strong, but they just make the cutest candles. Okay, so as I mentioned, I did buy a few things. I just wanted to run through this little haul real quick here. So I picked up this pair of shoes. I just thought these would be perfect for my cruise that I'm going on. They're kind of like almost a straw material, and these are Steve Madden sandals, which I love finding these at TJ Maxx at a really good price because this is like my favorite shoe brand so these are really comfortable i think they're just going to be so cute and go with all tons of different outfits this spring and summer and they were 29.99 now i mentioned i found a bunch of that pat mcgrath stuff in my last video so i wanted to show you what i picked up i just got a couple things i still did not find the palette i wanted which was the smoky palette from this collection but i did find this nude one the nude allure and it is actually quite stunning so i did want to swatch this for you the shades are just just insane they are so creamy and super soft I feel like they actually feel better quality than the Valentine's palettes that I just bought like last month just how pretty are these shades though I feel like I'm still gonna get a ton of use out of this eyeshadow palette and it was so cheap too so that one was $14.99 and I also bought the cheek palette I could not resist this for the price tag it was $19.99 I absolutely love that this comes with four blushes and a highlighter I feel like you know I can get a lot of use out of this palette even if it is a limited item and these blush colors are stunning I love Pat's blush formula here is the cheek palette swatches I feel like there's a really good variety of tones going on with these blushes so creamy and soft so excited about that I could not resist this Dolce & Gabbana perfume because I'm pretty sure this is a fairly new launch from them. So I grabbed their Lily perfume. This was $39.99. Here is the bottle. So cute from their Dolce line. This smells actually really good. So this is like very fresh. I'm almost getting more aquatic vibes from this one. I don't think it's overly floral at all. It's just so pretty and I feel like so fresh and yummy for spring i think this smells amazing so yeah i'm pretty sure this one they still sell full price on ulta and i got this one for such a steal at 39.99 i really couldn't believe it it smells so so good and then the last thing i bought was actually a marshall's find and i actually went with my friend to the stores today and she swears by this syrup uh this is the skinny syrups this is the cookie dough one she said it is one of the best ones it tastes amazing so i'm really excited about this and i want to create some fun coffee drinks with this one she said it's a little harder to find but i spotted one at Marshall's, so I snagged it. This is only $3.99, so I'm trying to make some fun coffee drinks at home, and I think this will be really good, mixed with maybe some white mocha, some caramel, I don't know. We're gonna try it out, I think it's gonna be good. So that is it for this TJ Maxx video, a little bit of a haul there. Found some pretty good stuff, I will say. Not a ton, but you know, some exciting finds. I'm so pumped to see what we find next week and see if there's anything really good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like my videos have been a little bit few and far between lately. I have just feel like I've been struggling a little bit to keep up and just... I feel like I was doing really good with my view count and then I just feel like the past week it kind of tapered off a little bit so I don't know I literally tried to film like three videos yesterday that I had to scrap 
um, cause I didn't have my microphone plugged in or my hair was messy and just been having a little bit of a tough time, I feel like, but I do want to have some fun content for you. Let me know any ideas you guys want to see in the comments down below. I know I have coming up, I want to do a fun Target shop with me, a Target haul, a fun spring clothing haul. I'm doing a cruise at the end of this month, so like a haul for that, maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see, but thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.